Picture yourself stepping into a grand theatre on a chilly January evening in 1921. The lights dim, the velvet curtains ripple slightly as if holding their breath. The audience murmurs in hushed anticipation, sensing that something extraordinary is about to unfold. Something so profound, it will alter not just storytelling, but the very language we use to describe artificial life. Welcome to Hradik Kralova in the heart of the newly formed Czechoslovakia. Tonight, Karol Kapik's groundbreaking play, RUR or Rossum's Universal Robots, premieres. No one in the room yet realizes they're about to witness the birth of a word that will echo across generations robot. Stay with me, because this story is filled with twists, historical milestones and ideas that remain as urgent today as they were over a century ago. It's January 2nd, 1921, barely two years after the founding of Czechoslovakia. Europe, still reeling from the devastation of World War I, is redefining itself. Old empires have crumbled, new nations have risen, and the air is thick with both hope and uncertainty. Amid this changing world stands Karol Kapek, a Czech writer and journalist whose works blur the lines between social commentary and speculative fiction. His play, R.U.R., isn't just a night at the theatre, it's a bold statement on the future of labour, technology and what it means to be human. What few in the audience grasped that evening is that they were part of a cultural moment destined to spark debates on mechanisation, ethics and the moral weight of technological progress. At the heart of R.U.R. lies a simple yet radical idea. Artificial humanoid beings built for labour. Rossum's universal robots in Capex fictional world aren't clanking metal machines. They're biologically engineered, grown, not built, to serve humanity by performing dull, dangerous and undesirable tasks. The genius of Capex's concept wasn't just the invention of these synthetic workers, but the questions he dared to raise. What happens when we create life solely for exploitation? What ethical boundaries must exist when we manufacture beings capable of thought and suffering? By introducing this world of mass-produced labour, RUR became a mirror for contemporary anxieties, touching on workers' rights, automation, and even the idea of synthetic consciousness. Stay tuned, because as we explore further, you'll see how CapEx questions still haunt our modern conversations about AI, automation, and the future of work. Before Roa. You know, the word robot didn't exist. It was CapEx's brother, the artist and writer Josef Capek, who suggested the term, inspired by the Czech word robota, a medieval term meaning forced labour or drudgery, referring to the unpaid work peasants owed to feudal lords. When Karol adopted this word for his play, it leapt from the Czech language into the global imagination. Within just a few years, newspapers, books and philosophical essays were using robot to describe artificial workers and mechanical automation far beyond the stage where it first appeared. Imagine hearing the word robot for the first time in 1921, so futuristic, it must have felt like it belonged to another century. After its modest premiere in Hradek Kralov, RUR quickly moved to Prague's National Theatre, captivating audiences. By 1923, it had crossed into London and a year later made its way to Broadway in the United States. Critics and intellectuals were both mesmerised and unsettled. The play's themes struck a nerve. At what point does technology become dangerous? Should humanity create life it cannot control? This was decades before Isaac Asimov's Three Laws of Robotics, yet Capek had already posed the foundational questions that would shape science fiction and ethics for generations. To truly grasp R.U.R. Dyer's impact, we have to consider the context of the early 1920s. The scars of World War I were fresh, a war where tanks, machine guns and chemical weapons revealed the devastating potential of modern technology. At the same time, factories were evolving. 
Assembly lines were transforming industries, sparking both economic growth and fears of human redundancy. RUR tapped directly into those anxieties, blending a vision of unchecked technological progress with the unsettling question of what happens when labour is no longer human. The plot of RUR begins with promise. Robots free humanity from mundane tasks, enabling a life of leisure and progress. But as the world grows dependent on these artificial workers, cracks begin to show. The robots, growing increasingly aware of their oppression, rebel. What follows is a gripping cautionary tale, a robot uprising where humanity faces extinction at the hands of its own creations. But here's the twist. Capek doesn't just tell a disaster story. He forces us to ask, if a being can think, feel and suffer, how different is it from us? Though framed as science fiction, RUR was a profound philosophical statement. Intellectuals like George Bernard Shaw praised Capek for his blend of storytelling and social commentary. The play's core themes about synthetic life and the consequences of unchecked invention resonate in everything from The Terminator to Westworld to Black Mirror. The idea of a robot uprising has become a storytelling archetype, but its roots trace back to this single performance in a Czechoslovak theater. One of RUR to S most visionary elements was its foresight into the ethical challenges of artificial intelligence decades before the technology existed. Today, as AI systems grow more autonomous, making decisions in finance, healthcare, and even warfare, the moral dilemmas Capek raised feel eerily familiar. Should AI be trusted with power? Should we grant rights to machines? Can we control what we create? Capek's legacy reminds us that technology, no matter how advanced, should be handled with both wonder and caution. Karel Capek didn't just coin a word. He sparked a conversation still unfolding today. RUR wasn't just a play. It was a philosophical lens on progress, ethics and the human spirit. A story so powerful that its echoes can be heard in every debate about AI and automation today. If this journey through history fascinated you as much as it did me, I invite you to like, subscribe and check out the links in the description for books and deeper insights into the legacy of RUR. Thank you for exploring this remarkable chapter in literary history. Stay curious and I'll see you next time for another deep dive into the stories that shaped our world.